we'll call it diversity art, which is a form a form of postmodern Soviet realism or socialist realism. Yeah. I would actually say it's socialist hyper realism if we're going to just corporate into it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is, it's very good for corporatist uh, marketing purposes and propaganda as well. But it's, it's a form of socialist hyper-realism, this art form where everybody has no face, but you can tell what color or their hair and clothing tell you what gender they probably are. So they become avatars of identity. This um, other side of the universal man coin is the individual. And there are some, this is a fruit of the enlightenment, that we are thinking of each other or as each person as, as the individual. There's this weird tension and, you know, we dragged it out mm-hmm. and cynical theories and talked about it that um kind of if you think of it that liberalism is pointing toward the concept that there is something universal about mankind that makes us in a sense sacred but at the same time we are at the end of the day each individuals